Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Ed Padgett, and today I'm going to show you three science-backed exercises to help you beat back pain. These exercises come from low back pain guru, Dr. Stu McGill of Waterloo University, Canada. Now, Dr. McGill has been researching and studying back pain for over 20 years, and he has written extensively on the topic of back injuries and the concept of core stability. I'm going to link his website in the first pinned comment and in the description below. Now, through his research, he has found that the following three exercises are the most effective at helping people beat back pain. They are the curl up, the side plank, and the bird dog. Now these exercises aren't exactly functional, but they do serve a specific purpose. They help add tension into the muscles. You see, most people think that they have back pain because they have weak back muscles, but that's not true. I've worked with some Olympic athletes who had back pain, and it wasn't because they had weak back muscles. Now there are many causes of back pain, but these exercises address the fine motor control and stiffness in the back. Stiffness, in this case, is a good thing. This is because it allows greater control over the vertebral segments in your lower back and less chance of an awkward movement irritating some of the structures there. Also, it's important to consider the rest of your body when managing your back pain. You see, commonly the hips and the upper back can be really tight, which means that the lower back has to do more work. This, in turn, leads to overuse injuries of the muscles, joints, and ligaments, and eventually a wear and tear process, which is not ideal. Also, before we get into the exercises, I just want to share with you something that you shouldn't be doing, and that is nothing. Avoiding all movements leads to a decrease in the muscle strength and coordination. This can then lead to a vicious circle of weakness and pain. So doing something is better than doing nothing. All right, on to the exercises. First up is the curl up. Lie on your back with one knee bent and the other straight. Try and do both sides if the pain isn't too bad on one side more than the other. Now place your hands onto your lower back. Pick your head up only a few inches and hold that position for about 10 seconds. Relax and move your head back down to the resting position. The idea here is to avoid flattening the lumbar spine to the floor like you would in a regular sit-up. The hand behind your back helps give you some feedback as to the position of your spine. Now McGill recommends performing these with a short, sharp breath that helps keep tension in your core. For sets and reps, it's a good idea to remember that this isn't a strength exercise. It's more of a neurological exercise, which means the nervous system can tire quickly. I would suggest doing about eight to 10 repetitions the first time round, and maybe five the second time round, and finally three the third time round. If you're enjoying these exercises, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, as this really helps boost the channel's visibility, and that gets this important information out to more people. Now, back to the exercises. Next exercise is the plank. I'm going to show you two different variations of this exercise. And the first one is the easier variation. So lie on your side with your legs bent and your upper body supported on your elbow. Place your free hand on the opposite shoulder. Raise your hips so that only your knee and your arm support your body weight. And the middle of your body is nice and straight. Hold this position for about 10 seconds before returning back down. To make this harder, you can straighten your legs and lift up by pushing onto the outside of your foot. Hold this position for 10 seconds and make sure you do it both sides. For sets and reps, I recommend building up to about 30 seconds, both sides with the legs straight and being able to do this three times through. Lastly, we have the bird dog. Assume an all fours position with your back in neutral alignment. This means not too arched and not too rounded. Whilst keeping your lower back in this position, kick one of your legs out behind you and at the same time move your opposite arm out in front. You don't have to lift your leg very high as this can cause an arching of your lower back 
if you do. However, if you want to make your leg and arm parallel to the ground, you really have to control your pelvic movements by tensing your core a lot. Now, this might be difficult if you have pain. Hold each extending, extended pose for 10 seconds before returning back to the all four starting position. Try this 10 times on either side, then five times and three times. Now, there are many different types of exercises for back pain. Some people swear by things like Alexander technique or yoga. This is because everything works for some people some of the time. And what I like about these exercises is they've been extensively researched and they work for most of the people most of the time. Now, having said that, if you tried them and you didn't get relief from your back pain, you can look at some of the other techniques I show on this channel by following this video here, which is also linked in the description below. I'm going to wrap this video up here and I really hope that you found it helpful. If you try the exercises, please let us know how it goes in the comments below. Now, if you really want my opinion on a, your specific case, send me an email or a friend request on Instagram or Facebook and my email is in the description below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend who you think can benefit from this content as well. Thank you so much for doing those things. Your support means a huge deal to me. Stay tuned for my next video, which will be up shortly.